In this video, I want to talk to you about what happens when you start up your computer. Um, first of all, when your computer is off, there's absolutely nothing in RAM. But there are some startup instructions in ROM called firmware. And when you start up your machine, these instructions are copied from ROM into RAM. They're copied from ROM into RAM. And basically, these instructions tell the control unit to go to the hard drive and find an operating system like Mac OS 10 or Windows 7 or Windows 8 uh, or Unix or Linux, whatever operating system you're using. The typical, typically operating systems are stored on your hard drive. So when you start up your computer, the instructions that are uh, on the ROM chip are dumped into RAM, and these instructions now tell the control unit to go to the hard drive and find an operating system. So now you've got your startup instructions here in RAM. Now you have your operating system in RAM. Now you decide to play a game. So you go to your hard drive and you double click on your favorite game. Now you've got your game instructions in here in RAM. Now you decide to go to uh, uh, maybe go out on the internet and now you load up a browser like Firefox or Internet Explorer. So now you've got those instructions in RAM, and pretty soon you've got a lot of different programs running at the same time. Now, the more things you have running at the same time in RAM, the more things you have going on in RAM at the same time, the slower your computer will work. So the bottom line, we always tell all of our students, get a computer with, with as much RAM as you possibly can. So the more RAM you have, the better off things are going to be. Why? Because the more programs you have running at the same time in RAM, again, your ROM startup instructions, your operating system, they're always going to be there, your favorite game, a browser, Photoshop, Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel, pretty soon you've got a lot of stuff going on in here in RAM. The more things you have going on in RAM, the slower your machine works. So if you can keep RAM big, okay, that's really an advantage for the user.